Shalom, beloved, chosen. Many of us hear the term chosen, but we may need it expounded upon. We may need, let's talk about chosen. When I was sitting up and I was praying and communing with the spirit, praying in tongues, that's another thing, beloved, I just want to say. When you pray, start praying in tongues. Try to spend five minutes, 10 minutes a day after you say the prayer that's on your heart. Pray in tongues. That language, you're speaking directly to the Most High. Whatever need your spirit has, whatever problem, whatever enlightening you need, what, whatever you need, spiritual, mental, or physical, all the above. It will come to you. Speak in tongues, beloved. Get by yourself and pray in tongues. What you'll find is over time, your spirit will become sharper and stronger. You'll start having visions. Things will begin to happen that this earth doesn't have an explanation for, but you as a chosen vessel, you're exercising your spirit when you speak in tongues. Now, I want to go into chosen for a minute. Many of us are chosen, but we may not truly understand the depths of what chosen is. As I was praying in tongues, and communing with the Lord, he brought Matthew 13 to my mind, Matthew chapter 13. One of the things Yeshua is talking about in chapter 13, he's speaking in parables. He's speaking in parables to many of the people. And though they hear, they don't understand, though they see, they don't perceive the truth of what they're seeing. But then his disciples ask him to break it down. One of the things he's talking about the sower of the seed, sowing seed in the field. Yeshua is the one that is sowing the seed. The field is the word. The seed that he is sowing, the good seed, are the children of the kingdom. So the first thing you have to understand is you have been placed here in this world by Yeshua, by the word of the most high. Before the foundations of the earth were ever laid, he chose you. He knew you were going to be a special people unto him, a peculiar nation, okay, a priestly nation. He chose you. And he put you here. Many of us, we go through so many things and we're trying to figure out, why am I here, Lord? Why am I here? The first thing we're here for is to acknowledge and praise and honor and glorify the most high and his word, to trust in it. We do it so naturally that Many people listening to us is like, you know, every time you talk, thank God, thank God, praise God. That's right, because I know from whom all my blessings flow, as do you, chosen. What you will also notice is the children of the enemy do not give God the glory. They don't give it to Yahuwah. They give it to their skills. They give it to luck. They give it to uh, my job, my position, they give it to the point that they will honor themselves, brag and boast on themselves. But the chosen understand where everything they have comes from. And they're constantly honoring and glorifying the most high. They're honoring and believing his word, even when he has to explain it and give it to us in measure chosen seed. Where did that chosen seed come from? Why are we here? Firstly, Yeshua HaMashiach put you here. The word of God 
says so. When we look in Matthew 13, and I'm at the 38th verse. Matter of fact, I'm starting at 7, 37. He answered and said unto them, He that soweth the good seed is the son of man, Yeshua HaMashiach. Mm. The field is the world. Mm -hmm. The good seed are the children of the kingdom. Mm -hmm. You are already marked for a kingdom. Brother. You belong to the kingdom. But the tares are the children of the wicked one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The enemy that sold them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the world. And the reapers are the angels. As therefore the tares are gathered and burned in the fire, so shall it be at the end of the world. The son of man, Yeshua, shall send forth his angels. See, it's coming around, beloved. You have to understand the depths and the power of what's going on. Okay. As it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the last days. You see, when the people in the days of Noah were here, Noah wasn't the one taken away. The wicked ones were. A lot of people get it twisted, but you look at it here in Matthew chapter 13, and you see when the angels come, they're not coming to take away the wheat, the seed of the kingdom, the chosen, no, beloved, no. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. As therefore the tares are gathered and burned in the fire. He's coming for the tares, the wicked one. Okay. The son of man, Yeshua, shall send forth his angels, and they shall gather out of his kingdom all things that offend and them which do iniquity. Yes, yes, yes and shall cast them into a fiery furnace. Chosen, beloved. How did we get here? Why are we here? The word of the Lord put you here. Yeshua HaMashiach sold that seed. You are that chosen seed. Chosen before the foundations of the earth. Who were you chosen by? The Most High. You were chosen by Yahweh. And he knows that his choices are perfect. You will be moved from victory to victory. You will go through many different things, trials and tribulations. We cannot escape persecution. Yeshua said it, if they persecuted me, they will persecute you also. But you got to remember, there are deposited in you the same thing and greater than what was deposited in Yeshua, what do I mean? Yeshua HaMashiach said it. These works that I do, you shall do also, and greater works than these shall you do. Okay? The word. The word told us. But this world, remember the seed. Some was sown on rocky ground, stony ground, hard ground. And the world distracts takes it away, people get offended, they, they reject the word of the Lord, thus rejecting the Lord. And I'm talking about Adonai, Elohim. But the chosen, we hold on even until death because we know the great, the mighty, the terrible, and the all merciful Yahuwah for who he is. Even in the face of death, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Yes, beloved, how many times have we been in situations where, according to the manners of this world, we're not even supposed to be here. But you see, he gave his angels charge over us. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Understand something when we're looking at Matthew chapter 13. He told his angels, go get the tears. Go get the tears. They didn't come and pull up the wheat yet. He's removing that enemy seed because he purposely planted the chosen in this world. This world 
we weren't created for the world. The world was created for us. But the enemy planted his seed, those uh, imposters, if you will. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's another thing. You know, the tares hide among the wheat. And when they're first coming up, they, they, they look alike up to a point. If you look at the world right now, everything that the chosen do, the world will copy it, steal it, lie, and try to present it as their own. But it's an imposter, a uh, forfeiture, if you will. But let's go back to the chosen. We speak things into existence. We're made in his image. We have a mind that's in Christ. We sit in heavenly places with him. You know, this world wants us to think according to the world, but we are in it, but not of it. Remember, we're children of the kingdom. We're bombarded with so many things that many times we forget, but it does not mean we lose our position. When he planted us in this world, Yahoo and knew what he was doing, and it was a perfect work. We can speak a thing into existence. We got to throw off the one dimension that the world functions on because that's the enemy's children. He's the imposter. We're the real thing. Your eyes see what their eyes cannot see. Yeshua is telling his disciples that you hear, you discern. They hear and they don't understand. They see and they can't perceive. You see and you understand on levels and depths. There's nothing wrong with you. He's bringing you up and bringing you through. This isn't a, this isn't a one-way relationship, beloved. It is not. You are chosen. Many times you go through things and don't understand. People act like they hate you. People want to attack you. People want to steal your ideas. You got family members that reject you. They want to give the glory to another. No, no, no. Everything you do, they'll put down. And then copy the exact same thing you do and try to afford it to themselves. But you see, they didn't choose. Yahuwah did. As a chosen vessel, you have angels around you. He gives his angels charge over you to protect you wherever you go. Lest you dash your foot upon a stone. Yes, he does. He gives his angels charge over you. You can speak a thing into his existence. You can lay your hands on something and it will prosper when you are lined up with the word of the Most High. Yesterday, before I went to work today, just to give you an example of what I mean, it was hot here on the East Coast, hot. I had to go to work today, but before I left, I said, you know what, they're going to shut it down. They're going to shut it down because it's so hot. You know, everybody listening to me and it's like, okay, you know. I said, they're going to shut it down. I'm at work working when one of the young people came in and said, you know, we're closing the room. You can speak it right into existence beloved, not because you're trying to profit from it, not because you're trying to show off, but you have the power the same way Yahuwah said, let there be, and then there was. It actually already was before it was spoken. That's the power that is inside the chosen one. You can see into people's personalities. You can be standing somewhere. And it just starts speaking to your spirit. It just start revealing to you. I had two people standing near me when I was at a store. And I'm looking at one particular person. And although they're acting one way, I'm just getting all this information on the person. And another chosen individual came over to me. And ironically enough, because I'm standing there thinking, you know, yeah, why am I thinking this? I don't know them, but I'm, I'm just picking all of this up. And they start talking about it. And they're like, you can't see it, but I see it. And I'm like, I do see you. You're saying what I'm thinking, that confirmation. 
I'm not crazy. The world has such a limit on it. We are the embodiment of his creation. We are made in his image, chosen one. That's not a limited thing. It's not a bragging thing. It's a true thing. But we honor and we understand there is a light that comes off of you so powerful that when a spiritual light, a vibration, if you will, you can think something and it happens. Sometimes you don't even have to speak it. You just think and then boom, it just happens. The power of God. As a matter of fact, if I got it right in Psalms 83, he says, ye are gods, ye are gods. On the earthly level, many people think in the wrong terms of that. On a spiritual level, he's telling you who you are. He chose us. He chose us. We didn't choose him. We don't even have the power to make these determinations. But a lot of us don't understand, yes, there is suffering in it, but the suffering is the refinement. The suffering creates a refinement, okay? And when the wrong enemy comes after us, whoo, mm, mm, mm. Sometimes the only hope for that enemy is for you to pray for him. That's the power in you. It can be unleashed on them so bad. Yahoo was wrath. Remember, you are the apple of his eye. You are the apple. If you think a parent has a ferociousness about how they love their firstborn, their only child, or their children in general, if you think a parent can become ferocious, you ain't seen nothing till you see Yahoo when you try to put your hands on his beloved, chosen beloved, chosen where you grow, chosen when we're reading in. Matthew chapter 13, it also talks about how a net is thrown out and pulls in all these fish. Some fish are kept, others are thrown back, burned, okay? You know there are some fish that if you put them in a small tank, they'll only grow the size of that tank. But if you take them out of that tank, out of this little teeny tank, and put them in a tub, you know they will grow nearly the size of that tub. That is the chosen beloved. In the world, but not of the world. What do I mean? If you stay in the teeny tank and thinking of the world, you'll be about that big. But your potential to grow is beyond concept. It is not just spiritually. It is exponentially with no limits on any level. Any level. He shortened the days of time itself. Not because... He just wants to judge the world. I'm talking Yahoo. The power, the beauty, the love that he has for his elect, his children. He shortened time. I'm reading in 2 Baruch. I'm just going to talk right now. I will go get the book, but I'm in the flow. And he talks about how he shortened the days. He shortened the days. Why? He did it for his chosen to bring us home, to bring us out. One of the other things we have to understand, a lot of us, we want to go home. I want to go home. You want to go home. But if you remember the first Egypt, we don't leave until the enemy gets it. Just like in Matthew chapter 13, where Yeshua sends forth his angels to gather up those tears and burn them up. Just like in the days of Noah, the enemy had to get it first. Noah didn't just float away in the ark and, you know, what happened to the people? Oh, they're getting it. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. Before that boat floated away, them people had caught it. Trust me. By the time that boat started floating away, all the enemies were bubble, 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 gone. All of them gone first. First. The storm came first, then as the waters rose. Now you imagine all them people clinging and screaming and howling. Nowhere in them, the boat has to be let aloft. It has to get its buoyancy 
How does it do that? This huge arc. Because that water has to rise up. Underneath that water are those enemy people, those people that turned on the most high. First. First. So in a manner of speaking, even if you're hearing it, you know they the judgment is coming on them first before he went away. In Egypt, in the first Egypt. Yasharel was there. Even though we were in the land of Goshen, Egypt was getting it first. First. And you can say spiritually, in a manner of speaking, and in a direct truth, those chosen were placed there. They were placed there. Yahuwah wasn't just going to show Yasharel who he was. He was also going to show Egypt this great power this world power, there is a God. You see, they did not honor Yah as Yah. They were honoring creatures and following things that were not of Yah. Did not even want Yah's people to honor him. Look at the world today. Everything they do, they're honoring the creature more than the creator. You as a believer, up against a lot of this stuff this world is trying to put forth, it shows you're chosen just by the fact you honoring Yah, you honoring his word, you doing the best you can. He's preparing you for when we can come forth unto him, the chosen one. He has perfect choices. Yahuwah knows what he's doing. Even when we fall short and feel like, Lord, I'm trying, but I know I ain't right. That's okay. He's working on you. He's working that thing out. He's working on you. But make no mistake about it, beloved, as a chosen, we're going to witness, remember, the sinner's reward. We're going to be right here. By the time we leave, and all, they catching all hell, just breaking loose. The angels come and snatching them up. Snatching them up. Snatching them up. We're going to witness it. Yasharel did not leave Egypt before Egypt got it. Right now, just like those firstborn, let me tell you, there's a lot of Yasharelites chosen that uh, they have destroyed. They have destroyed. Okay. Well, guess what? <laughs> Yahoo are going to balance them books. He's in the midst of balancing those books. They won't talk about it. But it doesn't matter. It's happening. You got more older uh, 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 Babylonians than younger ones. He's setting them at odds against each other. Confusion, if you will. You know, we look at things literally, but many times we also have to look at it figuratively. Many of those plagues that were going out below. Yes, they are literal plagues, but they're also figurative. They're spiritual plagues. Confusion of mind, they lost wisdom. You hear you, do you hear any wisdom or good, intelligent talk when you listen to these so-called leaders? You know, that's another thing, and I just want to touch on it too. There's a thing, there was an edict, if you will, a, a, a edict that went out. It started with, uh, what's his name? Was it Hoover? What was his name that ran the um, FBI? But anyway, if I mess it up, forgive me. The, the guy that ran the FBI, that's all I got. I can't remember his name. I might be right. Um, but he didn't want a black messiah. This is what he said. Destroy all black messiahs. What's that mean? Any leader, any leader, okay? Cause their name not to be worthy of trust, you know, Kill them if need be, whatever you got to do. As a matter of fact, the way they talked about it was neutralize. You got to neutralize them. We'll see. Hmm. Lord have mercy. You know, Yahoo sits high, look low, and laugh from the scorn. You funny. You real funny. You looking for a man. But you see, when Yasharel's true leader is in place, no earth and ashes can neutralize them. You see, back in the days of Samuel the prophet, 
the people asked for a king, if you remember. Samuel was grieved. That was in the days when they picked Saul. But Yahuwah told them, they didn't reject you. They rejected me. He was the king. He was the leader. He was the ruler, the head. And his word, yes, beloved, yes. His word was there. Okay. Yeshua HaMashiach is called the word of Yah. So, this ideology of neutralizing them, I find it funny. It's prophetic when you think about it. They called them the black messiah. Well, you see, that was the only messiah there ever was. Yeshua was not blonde haired, blue eyed European coming from the Caucasus Mountains. Okay, but I digress. This leader, we're led by that leader. We are that good seed, chosen one. Yes, beloved, yes. Everything they do is speeding up God's judgment. It's already loosed. And many of us, when we get into being chosen, that chosen seed, we're not talking about earthly ideas of being chosen. We're talking about trusting in Yahoo, communing with Yahoo trusting in his word, understanding that everything we see is temporary. Nothing we see on an earthly level is permanent. Everything is subject to change, but we're tapped into the everlasting and eternal. We know there's gonna come a day when we go and we are with him forever. Even if we do the first thousand years, then the judgment, and the final judgment for the wicked ones coming. We are going to be with him forever in the end. He is going to dwell among us. He's not going to be that far, far away. We know this. We know this. So when you're experiencing certain things, when people turn on you, and when you're caught in a solitary time in your life, chosen, it is not because you're unworthy of love. It's not because... Uh, why don't anybody understand me? You're a peculiar people. Mm -hmm. You belong to God. He chose you. And understand, those angels, they're amongst the tears. They're standing there looking. Mm -hmm. They're not coming for you first. No, no. The others got to be removed first. While we right here on earth in the field, watching the angels of Yeshua HaMashiach under Yahuwah tear it up, tear it up. We're those fish caught in that net, but we're the fish that's gathered in just like the wheat into his barn. The other ones are tossed and burned. As he reveals himself to you, as you see things, as you know things, as you experience things, as you speak it into existence, remember, we're made in his image. Don't get the physical because on this earthly plane, everything you see is subject to change. Everything you see is subject to change. I'm talking on the physical. I don't look like, you don't look like the person that was born from my mother's womb. I'm totally different from that little baby, as are you. I don't look like the young girl I once was. And what I look like now I won't look like later, nor will you. Here's how deep it is when he takes us home. Mm? Wait a minute now. When he takes us home. Do you know the aging process stops? We start looking young again. We're strong again. All of that potential is there. We, the seed, listen to... I'm going back for a moment to Matthew 13. Mm -hmm. Look, just give me a moment. I know I didn't bring it up on the screen, but at least I'm telling you the book, Matthew chapter 13. And mm, mm, mm. he that sows the good seed is the son of man. Okay, the son of man. What seed? Us. You. Seed. Look at the potential in seed. You being chosen, that life, that, that. Listen, 
think of a seed because I love to garden. I plant all kinds of things. Okay. But think of a seed. You put it in the ground, a little teeny thing. I mean, if you didn't understand its potential, and when you're thinking of the earth, you're connecting to the spirit, you're connecting to the Lord, the earth, the sun, the water, the power of Yahuwah's creation, and all things come of him. So I'm not saying that the earth alone is Lord or the wind is the Lord, all of it, because it all comes from him. All things are of thee, O oh Lord, okay? But you take that little seed, you put it in the earth. Next thing you know, you've got a plant that can feed, that can supply. Here's where it get deep, because understand the power, the potential of who you are. It reproduces itself from itself. Mm -hmm. Grow up into a plant, and then one of the seeds fall off of the same plant that was nothing but a seed and start reproducing itself until you fill up a whole field. That's what's in you chosen. It is without limits. Okay, it is not one dimensional. And I'm just using a seed because in uh, uh, Matthew 13, that's what they're talking about. Now, you got to remember the tears are in there. So they look and hate. Every time they see the power in you, you know, a lot of people think, oh, the brothers and sisters, they got this rhythm. You know, they, they belong to brothers and sisters. We, we, we're not going to run one dimensional here. We're not going to do one dimensional. If you think we only dominate sports, I'm talking about that chosen seed, beloved, that, 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 that embodiment of what's in that seed. Hmm. You better listen to the rhythm of the way we think. You better listen to the rhythm of the way we speak. You better listen to the rhythm of the way our heart feels. Listen to the rhythm of the way we praise it, salt it. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It got flavor. It got flavor. No sacrifice could be given. No offer, offering unto Yahoo. Lest it was salted. Lest it was salted, baby. It got salt all over it. You're chosen. Yes, yes, yes. But Yeshua HaMashiach planted that seed. So when you're un trying to understand, well, who am I? Why am I? What am I? We are here to give praise, honor, and glory. And it's a multiplier because you got a lot of people that are in darkness, not because they choose to always be in darkness, but they don't know. They don't know. So when your little light come in there shining up the room and people start reacting, first of all, the demons get upset. Let's not get it twisted. All right. The tears get the shaking and shimmy and, and you're going, well, what's wrong? That's a tear. Okay, when they acting funky and don't like you, that's a tear, baby. That's a tear. But don't worry, the angels are there. They stand there like, don't worry about that. Oh, I, I, that day's a number. Okay, all you got to do is look at what the Lord said, Matthew chapter 13. That tear over there, that day's a number. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. We going to gather them up first. You feel me? So when you come around and the tears get to shaking, rattling and rolling, acting all crazy and ugly, and tears can be in your own family member, your own family. Why? Because many are called, but the chosen are few. Wait a minute now. Many are called. Oh, yeah, they hear the word of God. Remember that? Wait a minute. Let me go back. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let me see if I can start it. Uh, uh, well, I want to start it. I'm messing it up. And if I do, forgive me, forgive me. I'm going to talk about how many are called. Many are called, but the chosen are few. Mm -hmm. Now we're talking about Yeshua HaMashiach. Behold, the soul went forth to sow. And when he sowed, some seeds fell by the wayside. Many are called. Mm -hmm. And the fowls came and devoured them up. Some fell upon stony places where they had not much earth. And forthwith, they sprung up because they had no depthness in, of earth. And when the sun was up, they were scorched. And because they had no root, they withered. They withered. You know, some people, they praise, honor, and glory all day long to till trouble come. Till trouble come. And they run off screaming and hollering. Some of them even blame the Lord. Instead of watching the power of his glory and his salvation. Yes, they will blame God. 
okay, and stick to it can go through a lifetime of because it fell on stony ground, okay? Mm-hmm. Some fell among thorns and the thorns sprung up and choked them. Others fell on good ground and brought forth fruit. Remember the seed? Remember the seed? Mm -hmm. Some in hundred and sixty fold and some thirty fold. Who have ears to hear? Let him hear. Yes, beloved, the potential. You got exponential potential. Okay, duplicate, triplicate, multiply yourself. Let me tell you how deep it get. It go into a mathematical equation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You be dividing, multiplying, subtracting, and adding all at the same time. Subtracting those things that have no place. Yes, those spiritual strongholds. Multiplying in the word of the Lord. Letting his spirit go forth through praise and worship and all that you do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dividing that thing amongst the believers and those who will hear and be called and follow. Yes, yes. Now, wait a minute now. Multiplying, dividing. Then you add some 100, some 60, some 30. There it is. There it is. Who have ears to hear? Let him hear. Let him hear. And when you do it, you got that flavor. What I'm talking about? Salt. Mm -hmm. Yes, beloved. Yes. Chosen. So when you feel strange, when you know what you know, what you know, and you can't prove it, but then it come to pass and you be like, I told you I knew. And everybody's sitting there with their mouth open. Somebody, some people don't even want to honor the truth of what you told them. Because understand something about that. See, our father, our creator, who we are made in the image of, I'm not talking physical, although we look like we probably too, but I'm talking spiritual. Yeah, it's a spirit. Wait a minute. Yeah, make it line up. Make it line up. Let me go back. Let me go back. He's a spirit, although we know he made the flesh. How do we know that? The word of God is so powerful. He leaped into a virgin's womb, put on a robe of flesh, himself and walked among men, telling the story. Do you understand? Drawn in the lost sheep of Israel. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. See, we're not dealing with a one-dimensional father. We're dealing with the almighty. The great, the powerful, the terrible, and let's not play with it. He's a jealous God. There ain't no God before him. Besides, I'm not even mentioning no fake gods. They, they, no gods. There's only one Yahoo. One Adonai, one Elohim. All praise, honor, glory, fear, and love unto him. And him alone. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. But let's talk about we made in his image. We made in his image. Yah is a spirit. He loves those who honor him in spirit and truth. Boom, spirit and truth. This is why I told you earlier, pray in the spirit, beloved. Pray in the spirit. You know, one of the things that the tears don't like, that the enemy don't like, we speak truth. We speak truth to so-called power. What it is, no power. We speak truth. But understand something according to the word of the most high. He said, fight for the truth to the death, and the Lord Almighty will fight for you. There it is. We you chosen, beloved. But the angels are there. How do we know? <laughs> Yeshua planted the seed in the field of the earth. The enemy, he put them tears in there. But the angels are like, oh, we got this. We got this. Don't worry about it. We got this. Mm -hmm. When you feel that heavenly presence, you're not tripping. When you having visions, beloved, you're not tripping. You're chosen. You made in Yahuwah's image, the eternal. We sit in heavenly places through Yahuwah. Yes, we do. You're speaking the powerful word of the most high God. How can you not? You chose him, beloved. But we're not done with a teeny weeny itty bitsy thing. 100 fold, 60 fold, 30 fold. That's what we're doing. You see one of me? Huh? I'm a multiplier, as are you, beloved. We just multiply. That's what we do. That's what we do. Little seeds that make seeds. Mm -hmm. And when you speak that word, remember his word go out on come back voice. Anytime you use in the word of the most high and it's empowered with your faith and you done salted this thing. Listen here. You could be sitting in the house alone. You speak that word, that thing go out through the doorknobs. It get through the keyholes. Okay, it run underneath the floorboards. Does somebody ring the bell? Poof, what is it? The spirit just met you. You ain't gonna walk in that house and come back out the same. Don't you know a chosen child of God or something there? Mm -hmm. I'm just telling you, beloved. 
when you are chosen, you are peculiar people. You understand what I'm saying? He chose you above all people on this earth, but we got a job to do. And are we going to go through problems, uh, persecutions, and tribulations? Yes, Yahshua told us that. But the works that he do, those same works shall we do. So we're in the process now. We got to build up our faith. We got to support each other, encourage each other, edify one another. Somebody in here done laid on some hands and somebody got better. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. You got healing words inside of you. You got a ministry inside of you. You, you literally can tear down spiritual stronghold, send demons screaming and howling, make them come out of people. Yes, you can. These works that I do and greater works also shall you do. The thing is the world wants to keep us distracted, but we are peculiar people. And I right now am dedicating us back, back to our first love. Okay, beloved, if your family don't understand you, Remember, a prophet is respected everywhere, except amongst his own family and in their own country. So don't be shocked if you're not respected. And because of their faith, you can't do what you want to do, but that's not you. It's their lack of faith, not you. You understand? Oh, you think I'm crazy? No, you don't. But I'm just using that as my way of speaking. Okay. When Moses and them came out of Egypt, remember Korah, Dathan, and Abiram? They got jealous. Who are you to be trying to be the leader? You got family members because y'all chose you. They got something to say and get all up in their feelings. Let me tell you now, don't touch me. Yahoo wasn't playing. We said, touch not my minority. Listen here now. He opened up the earth and swallowed them up close it over them. Now, that can be literal or metaphoric. What do I mean? Which still becomes literal. He can take some people out. Just take them out. And just like he did it to Abiram, Dathan, and Korah, the earth's open up. That grave yawn in their face. Listen to me. They went down live. But for others who may come up against you, because listen, woo, it's a terrifying thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Listen, look, ain't no help for you. Ain't no help. I'm telling you now, I'd be running, praying, confessing my own sins, because yes, I have sinned. And God cleanses us all. Matter of fact, let's say a little prayer. Yahuwah, Adonai, our glorious Elohim, we confess our sins and the sins of our ancestors. And we ask for your eternal mercy, without which we are all doomed. We ask that you forgive us and let us walk in your light and your truth according to your spirit. Not our will, Father, but thy will be done. And we desire thy will. Let it be a joy. Let it be a glory. Let it be a love. Light our hearts. Light our minds. Light our eyes. That we become passionate to do thy will. And give you all the praise, honor, and glory you are deserving of. Our eyes have it seen all that you have in store for us. And many of it, you're giving it to us right here on this side, Father. Yes, you are. I've seen the miracles. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Woo. Mm, mm, mm. And what you do for me, you do for them. Our ears haven't heard all the wonderful things you have in store. Let us give you honor and glory, Father. Touch us. Touch us. Circumcise our hearts. Break up this fallow ground in us. Make the voices of our enemies go deaf in our ears. And let your worry just surround us. Let it be on our pillowcase. Let it wake us in the morning, walk with us through the day, and lay us down at night. As we give you glory, honor, and praise, and thank you for Yeshua HaMashiach, our Lord and Savior. Glory, hallelujah, praise you, Father, in the highest. Praise you now and forevermore, all eternity. Stand and praise you, Father, for you are worthy. Thank you, Adonai, our glorious Elohim. Forgive us our sins, cleanse us, let the blood of the Lamb be upon us as we walk from this life into the true life of you. In the mighty name of Yeshua, we ask these things for thy mercy's sake. Forgive us. Amen. Beloved, 
chosen. It's been on my mind. I'll probably be back, but I, I don't know how long I've been going. This might be very long. But you have to understand the power inside of you. I started praying. The spirit got up so high. I covered up and went into a ball. It, it, it got so strong. I, I, I opened my eyes and, yes, and a lot of you are going through that same thing. You're chosen. You're chosen. This is stronger than the world. You're in it, but you're not of it. You're made in his image. The spirit of the most high is upon you. Yes, it is. And we're bringing good tidings. Yes, we are. This is good news today. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He has appointed me to preach good news, beloved. Yes, yes, yes. You'll see that chosen seed. Let's, let's get it. Dude, you're sure how Mashiach planted it. That's who you are. You're that good seed. And you're starting to bloom and change and metamorphosize because the word of the Lord is pregnant. It never stays one dimension. So as you're changing and growing, and some of you have got to get you alone. He's getting you alone because he's transforming. We don't conform to the ways of this world, but transform through the renewing of our hearts and spirits and mind through the word of Yahweh. Yes, Lord. Yes. Woo. Mm -hmm. You in the transformation. As a matter of fact, he's drawing us together. Yes, we're not neglecting the gathering together of ourselves. I need you. You need me. We all know we need Yahoo. Sharing, edifying, encouraging, strengthening. Yes, it doesn't matter if I'm the toe and you the arm. What difference do it make me from one body? And I'm loving you. I'm loving you, beloved. Chosen. Yes, yes. And Yahuwah don't make no mistakes. He's choosing you so that you are getting ready. You are being prepared. So that when he brings those children of the kingdom home, remember, Matthew 13, they children of the kingdom. Hmm, hmm. The kingdom. That seed, this kingdom seed, you, you, you know your royal seed. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about seed that came from the eternal realm. You know the power inside of you, the potential inside of you. I don't care what lies the enemy told you because I know they told a lot. They told me a lot. But let me tell you something. You got wisdom. You got strength. You got glory. You got growth beyond anything you could ever hope or imagine. And he going to show you. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Abundant growth. So when you're feeling all these things, when you're wondering why, some people acting all weird and funky. Just because they blood can don't mean they spirit can. Many are caught. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Stony, rocky ground. Remember the word? That see where it fell. And the world is on full attack. The tears know their time is almost up. Yahoo is so deep. He's like, I'm shortening the time. It's speeding up. I'm speeding up the days. I'm speeding up the weeks. I'm speeding up the months. I'm speeding up the seasons. Because I'm coming back for my beloved, my kingdom. Mm -hmm. And you, beloved, are that royal city. That chosen. And the angels are right there. They're right there. And the one that's going to get it are the tears. Just like in Egypt, the Egyptians got it. Huh. You read in Matthew 13. You should get the angels. Get them tears. Mm -hmm. Gather them up. Gather them up. And I'll set them on fire. It's a word of encouragement, beloved. Chosen. I will probably come back with more. It was so heavy on me, and I hope this didn't come out jarable because I was trying to get it out. The spirit can deposit something in you, and, and I know that's the other thing. Let me finish. See the power, the potential of what's inside of you. There's a deposit woo, that with the it came from the eternal realm. It came from Yahoo. Yes, it did. You got something so powerful in you. It's going to just bust out. It's just going to start busting out. So don't be surprised you transform when you change it. That's that holy, eternal, royal kingdom seed. 104, 64, 34. Let him who has is here.
It's a word, beloved. A word of encouragement, a word of truth. Shalom.